Hello everyone, welcome to Micro Minute. My name is Marty Jobson and today, underneath my microscope, I will be placing some of this celery, although clearly not the whole celery bundle, but just a very, very tiny sliver of celery. So the first thing I have to do is to create a tiny sliver of celery. So let's um, take a leaf. In fact, these aren't leaves, these are technically the the, the petioles, they're the, the stem that leads up to the leaf. And uh, let's go to the desk camera so that we can see what I'm doing. So here's my, um, here's my lump of celery. And I've got one of these. This is, a, this is one of those uh, old fashioned razor blades, very, very, very thin razor blades. So let's, um, let's just cut a section. Oof. It's quite difficult to cut through this celery. It's, it's so fresh. Right, let's slice through like that. Okay. So there's a, a little lump of celery I've cut, but obviously I need a thin section. So this is the tricksy bit. Where'd it go? <laughs> I cut something and I've lost it. Let's try again. Maybe I didn't cut anything. Oh, there it is. That'll do actually, that's pretty good. Can you see that? Just about, I'm gonna put that on on a cover slip, like on a slide rather like that. But what I wanna do is I also wanna take a section along the length. So for that, I'm going to just slice it in. I'll take it here, like that. And then very thin section. There's another thin bit. I'm going to pop that on there like that. Get rid of that very sharp knife and put that over there. And then a couple of little drops of water. Just to wet mount this. And then a cover slip over each. Boom. And boom. So if I kind of, if I put that there, and then focus on that, like that. You can actually see quite a lot of detail. You don't need even need a microscope to see quite a lot of the detail here, but just to sort of orient you. So I've got here a tiny little slice of uh, the, 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 the leaf stem. Uh, you can see the, the outside, that's the epidermis. That's where it's green. And then you can see these little bundles. Those are the strings that are inside that you sometimes pull out. Um, they're called vascular bundles, but there's also a stringy bit right at the corner of each of these sort of nodules where it rises up. So let's take a look under the microscope and see what we can see. So whilst I'm doing that, I'm just going to go back to this. I'm going to pop it under there and then uh, find... OK, good, good, good. I have... Um, yep, this is... It's always, a, it's always... You've always got to worry. Have I sliced it thin enough? So... Um, Okay, let's zoom to the microscope itself. Okay, so, um, and this is what I wanted to show you kind of on, you know, just underneath the camera because it's quite difficult to sort of get your bearings, basically. So what I've got here is um, my little bit of stem. And what you can see here is this, this kind of border here, this is the epidermis. So this is the outside edge of the plant and um, in theory it's green but you can't really see the green and then this bit you might think this bit this is just at the tip of one of those nodules this bit you might think well this bit is one of the stringy bits and it is one of the stringy bits but it's not the obvious stringy bit I'll come back to them in a little bit because what I want to show you is this stuff here this stuff here these are the main cells the cells that make up the bulk of the cell uh, the celery um, and it's a kind of uh, plant tissue called parenchyma. OK, and they're just lots and lots of cells all packed together. There's not a huge amount interesting in those cells. But if we kind of head inland from here, we should get to a section which is a bit more interesting here. Because what we have here is this bit here and this bit here. This 
is the stringy bit in the celery. And this, this is one of those vascular bundles. Uh, and the vascular bundle is made up of two se separate sections. It's made up of um, the tissues that carry uh, liquid from the roots up to the leaves and that's called xylem and that's what these things are and they form these tubes that run up they're called tracheids that run all the way up but this section here this section is the phloem section and the phloem makes up a series of essentially tubes although they're not sort of just like hose pipes um, they're living cells and what they do is they take the sugars that the leaves make and they pass them sort of cell by cell, hand over hand, back down to all the rest and they distribute it to all the rest of the plant because obviously the food the plant needs is made in the leaves but that food needs to get all the way down to the roots and to everywhere in between. So those are the, the two main bits. Now if I go back out to, oops, a little bit of a delay on this this section here there is one other interesting section which is this section here this section here is known as the cholenchyma um, and cholenchyma is a special type of tissue and if I adjust the focus to there you can see <clears throat> that the cholenchyma is also got thickened cell walls so what you're seeing here is the light okay this section here the dark bits are let me get this straight. The thickening in the cell walls. OK, so what, what the cell walls, the, the outside of the, each of the individual cells has been made thick, which means the whole thing becomes really rigid. And when you these are the, the stringy bits of celery that's right underneath the skin. OK, and the xylem and phloem is a bit deeper in um, and only on really old, tough celery. Do you actually can you actually pull those stringy bits out? Now, all of this is quite cool, but actually it's slightly tricky to identify some of this stuff without staining it. Um, and normally you would use, uh, it's normally used toluidine blue, but I'm just going to use ultraviolet light. And I'm going to shine ultraviolet light on it, which has the effect oops, I get the, of making different parts of the cell glow. And... And this is rather cool. I love doing this. So what, what I'm shining now, the wavelength, the specific wavelength I'm shining on it makes the very outside edge of the epidermis, you can see there, glow slightly green. But importantly, if it's red, it's got chlorophyll in it because this wavelength of ultraviolet light makes the chlorophyll glow um, uh, red. OK, so what you're seeing there is all the chlorophyll, which is the green stuff, um, glowing red, not green, um, which is slightly confusing. And in fact, you can see that the chlorophyll isn't sort of evenly distributed. It surrounds the cholenchyma. And in fact, that's because if you look here, this is the sort of the green outside edge. OK, and it's actually, if you look here, in tiny, tiny little dots and those are individual chloroplasts, which is where the photosynthetic machinery is. Now, if I go in from here to where the um, you can see the parenchyma, the, the main bulk of the of the, the celery doesn't really have much in it in the way of chloroplasts. But if you go into the xylem and phloem, I get myself in the centre. There's quite a lot of it there. If I get focus right on the sort of the surface, you can see there's quite a lot of this stuff, but not in the big circular xylem vessels, the tubes that take the water up, and also not in the phloem itself that's passing the stuff down. Now, if I change the wavelength of light, I will illuminate a different type. I get a completely different sort of pattern. And this is now showing me where the thickening is. This is now making the lignin, which is the stuff that wood is made of, the really tough stuff. And it shows up really well in the xylem vessels. And the last thing I want to show you, I'm going to have to find. So I'm just going to zoom to this. And I'm going to go to the section where I remember I cut a piece that way as well as a piece that way. And if I go over to this section, where are you? There you are. And hopefully we've got a good bit. Yeah, it's quite good. And I'm going to zoom in on this. Hopefully that'll help. I zoom right in on this. 
and then focus turn the brightness up actually I think I'll, I will stay out right let me show you this so now what we're looking at is we're looking at the lignin that's in the xylem vessel so the tubes that take water up the plant and they're called tracheids and to make them really rigid and to be able to support the pressures they need they have this thickening and the thickening is in a spiral shape so that you can see oops if I make now that I'm making the lignin grow uh, glow, can you see these beautiful spirals of lignin? And lignin is what is literally means sort of woody. It's the woody material. It's a phenolic compound that the plant produces, and it lays it down in these spirals. It's like a big spring running up inside uh, the xylem vessels. So. Who knew that your common all gardens, well not all garden, but common all supermarket celery looked so fantastic underneath the microscope and only when you start turning on the ultraviolet light and looking at the fluorescence that happens. Right, as always, I have to thank Zeiss who provide me with this fantastic microscope with the fluorescence on it as well, which is super important for what I'm showing you today. I hope you enjoyed that. Please come back uh, and uh, watch me again. We're on every Friday these days. Um, if you want more of this, go to the YouTube channel, which is here. Uh, and if that's not enough, you can follow me on Twitter, which is coming up right now. Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.